Saint Godfrey of Amiens. Feast Day, November 8. The Unwavering Faith of Saint Godfrey of Amiens. Once upon a time in a small town, nestled amidst the serene landscapes of France, there was a child named Godfrey. His life, destined to be extraordinary, began with an auspicious twist. Born to Frodon, a respected citizen, young Godfrey was entrusted into the care of a Benedictine abbey, Mont Saint Quentin, at the tender age of five. His godfather, Abbot Godfroyd, welcomed him into a life that would shape his destiny. From his earliest years, Godfrey donned the Benedictine habit, living as a tiny monk, and as he reached the age of maturity, he took his sacred vows. Bishop Radbod II of Noyan ordained him as a priest, a solemn moment in a life brimming with devotion and purpose. In 1096, Godfrey's spiritual journey took a significant turn when he was appointed as the abbot of Nogent Sucusi, a humble abbey in the Diocese of Reims, within the province of Champagne. Upon his arrival, the abbey stood in ruins, overgrown with weeds, and inhabited by just six nuns and two children. Undeterred by the daunting task before him, Godfrey embarked on a mission of restoration, revitalization, and renewal. Under his guidance, Nogent Sukusi flourished, attracting people to the Order of St. Benedict and bringing a sense of order to the lives of those in the region. His efforts were nothing short of miraculous, as he transformed a desolate place into a beacon of faith and a sanctuary for the weary souls seeking solace in the embrace of God. Godfrey's unwavering dedication did not go unnoticed. Offers came his way, tempting him with prestigious positions within the church. The abbacy of St. Remy was extended to him, but he humbly declined. When he was offered the esteemed bishopric of Reims in 1097, he still considered himself unworthy and once more refused the honor, citing his perceived inadequacy. However, destiny had other plans for Godfrey. In 1104, the bishopric of Amiens was offered to him, and though he continued to grapple with feelings of unworthiness, he could no longer resist the unanimous call from both King Philip and the Council of Troyes. With a heavy yet obedient heart, he accepted this sacred duty. As the Bishop of Amiens, Godfrey remained steadfast in his commitment to his faith and the Church. His tenure was marked by rigid austerity, not only in his own life, but also in his dealings with those around him. He was a staunch advocate of clerical celibacy and a tireless crusader against two vices that plagued his time, drunkenness and simony. His uncompromising stance against these ills, particularly simony, led to a perilous confrontation. An attempt on his life was made, a testament to the opposition he faced in his unwavering pursuit of righteousness. Yet, even amid the turbulence of his duties, Godfrey's heart yearned for a simpler, monastic life. In 1114, he took a step towards that calling by moving to a monastery, seeking the tranquility of a Carthusian monk. However, the people he had served so faithfully demanded his return, and his sense of duty was unyielding. He returned to his flock, continuing to be a beacon of guidance and strength. Throughout his life, Saint Godfrey of Amiens played a significant role in the Council of Chalens, where his wisdom and unwavering faith left an indelible mark on the decisions made. In the annals of history, Saint Godfrey's life stands as a testament to unwavering faith, humility, and selflessness. His journey from a young boy in Mont Saint Quentin to the Bishop of Amiens is a tale of devotion, sacrifice, and the enduring power of faith. The legacy of Saint Godfrey of Amiens continues to inspire generations with his dedication to the spiritual path and his unwavering commitment to righteousness. I recommend subscribing to this inspiring channel to receive daily wisdom and inspiration from the saints. Join us in sending blessings and spreading their teachings. Share the video on your social networks to help others discover the light of faith.